excuses. When your family disappears, what excuse will you use then? I'll find them myself. Just stay out of my way. Orcs to the south, mercenaries camped outside by the lake, and now people are missing. I'm not sure how much more we can take. You don't have the half of it. It's the damned Lodos Plague. People are scared. Many have already fled Narsis to avoid getting sick. Of course, that's not what the remaining villagers believe. They think their families were stolen in the middle of the night. I've heard everything from a plot by the house leaders to elf-eating Bane King roaming the countryside. The Kin House is looking into it. Speak to whoever you want. The Kin House is more concerned with the coming plague than searching for people who probably just ran away. But I'm sure a counselor will hear you out. I'm not paid to think about this. That's a luxury for someone of higher rank than me. I'll admit something seems off kilter. If only the house counselors would see it that way. It's not that much to ask. People have left or simply disappeared. My profits are falling faster than the level of mead in a Nord fest hall. Please, tell me you're here to buy something. gone. Damn the plague. Who am I going to sell my delicious beverages to? Ah, maybe it's time for me to move on. a guard over there to check on some disturbing rumors we've been hearing. This confirms it. The Moorborn need to be wiped out. Thanks for bringing this news, Traveler. I'll inform the house leaders at once. I told you, we're leaving this forsaken place. I'd rather... Wait. You're not my husband. What do you want? Narsus isn't safe, stranger. Not that House Lalu cares. Do the guards search for our missing people? No, because the house counselors don't tell them to. I'm not going to become a victim. That's why I'm leaving. 
No one does anything in Narsus if the Kin House doesn't command it. It's that large building over there. You can't miss it. Be careful, outsider. They might decide you're sick. Plague this, plague that. It's their only concern lately. How do you fight something you can't see? It isn't fair. I can't cut the throat of the plague. I can't smash its bones. I can only wait until it fills me with its blackness and takes my life bit by bit. Me? No, not yet. I wait for the plague to find me. That's all we can do, isn't it? The house leaders debate how to keep the plague out of Narsus, how to protect us. Why do they even bother? They try, but the solution eludes them. We'll slowly fade away, one by one, as the plague takes us all. Gates can't stop it. We can't lock it out. Enjoy your last days, outsider. For the plague takes us all in the end. I don't suppose you're here to buy a weapon. No, you probably just want me to fix another wagon wheel or something. Everyone just wants to get out of here. Look around. Narsus is practically deserted. The plague, the curse, whatever you want to call it, it's driving everyone away. Or maybe that crazy story the villagers chatter on about is true. I guess anything's possible. I think the people are scared, and they should be. The Lodos Plague rushes onward, and Narsis is directly in its path. If there's any truth to the other rumors, then I'm sure the House Counselors will deal with it. into Narsis. That makes perfect sense, old friend. But we can't cut ourselves off from the outside world. If you truly care about our people, you'll seal Narsis and be done with it. We can't take any more chances. I'm sorry you had to witness that. My friend shows great concern for Narsis, sometimes greater than my own. What can I do for you? You'd think the entire town had disappeared the way everyone carries on. People are missing, but Giran has guards looking into the matter. For all we know, they fled to avoid the Lotus Plague. Very little. No one has actually seen any of these people leave Narsis. And we don't have enough guards to follow up on every lead. I usually don't hire mercenaries, but these are desperate times. If you can prove these claims aren't just fearful delusions, report back to me immediately. You'll be rewarded. Giron believes we must seal Narsis to protect it from the plague. Narsis is a center of trade, and such drastic measures aren't called for. Though I admit, visitors have been few due to recent events. I haven't decided. They say I'm not aggressive enough, that my indecision hurts Narsis. Perhaps Giron is right. I just don't know. Ah, Narsis, my beloved city. At its peak, Narsis was a vibrant center of trade. Merchants would come from far and wide to hawk their wares. Profits grew, and House Hlalu reinvested it in the city. That seems like so long ago. Most are back east, dealing with corruption inside Moonhold. Few want to enter a region ravaged by plague. But I won't give up. I'll weather this storm and lead Narsis back to prominence. I trust Councillor Raldin. He never failed us before.
I think Giron's plan has merit. I asked Mournhold to send healers, but all they gave us was Veron Dovel. Giron and Ralden used to be such good friends. Don't judge us too harshly. We do things our own way here. into matters that don't concern you, outsider. Greetings. The plague is coming, and we must be ready. How could he be so stupid? I told him where to deliver the shipment, but he thinks he knows everything. That's why things get messed up. My apologies, just talking to myself, don't mind me. Nothing at all, don't mind me. Just a servant here. What's it to you, anyway? Why are you in my master's house? He's an important person in Narsis. A writer. Writes all day, writes all night. But don't touch his journal. He can get frightfully angry. How would I know? I sweep, I dust. I don't read. The master would never let me look in his journal. His room upstairs is off limits. I stay down here, cleaning, just as my master tells me. Rest assured, the Molborn pose no threat to House Lalu. My husband guarantees it. When this watch is over, it's the corner club. So much to do, so much to do. House Halalu must support my father's proposition. Some of my family traveled to the Cirque to seek a cure.
What do you want? My cousin works to protect us from the spread of the plague. Where's my husband? But Vivek's beard, if he's drunk and passed out somewhere, I'll leave without him. That no good, useless piece of Kwama cattle. Oh, hello. You haven't seen my husband around, have you? Everyone knows my husband. <laughs> Evis, if he hasn't borrowed something from you or finished off your Ash Lake Ale, then you're not trying very hard. He was supposed to be back hours ago. That lazy lout is late. He ships our goods. He mentioned something about a botched delivery that he had to deal with. You know what he's probably dealing with. His thirst for ale. That would be a big help. I'm sure he's sleeping it off in one of the nearby houses. If you find an elf that smells of piss and ale, that's Evis. Tell him to hurry up or he's walking to Mournhold. Hello there. Please, I've told you everything I know. One more lie and I make you stop talking. Permanently. Understand? I have no intention of letting an amateur screw up my investigation. Turn around and walk away. Now. You're interrupting my interrogation, that's what. And just as I was about to get to my favorite part. I have no quarrel with you. Not yet. So go away. Listen to me closely. You and I are on the same side here. I've been hired to track down the origins of the Lodos Plague. That doesn't matter. We've linked strange shipments to this courier. He refuses to talk, but I've never met a man I couldn't break. Take this letter to Counselor Ralden. It explains how vials of the plague were shipped into Narsus. Let me guess. You read the letter. You're going to leave me with this crazy woman, aren't you? Curses on you and your family. Vox? Never heard of her. Why would I be afraid of a Vox? Now, will you let me go so I can take my wife to Mournhold? Ha! That's hilarious. Let me go. You can tell the house officials to go lick a gua. They don't know what's coming. None of you do. back. I hope you're here to tell me that my people are just imagining things and everything is fine. What's this? Notes? A journal attacked? Slow down. Hmm. I've never heard of Vox. And the thought of someone smuggling Lotus Plague into Narsis frightens me greatly. But where are the missing people? This news is very disturbing. I'm at a loss. People disappear into thin air and someone brought a plague into Narsis? That terrifies me. How could they even accomplish this without our notice? I need to seal the city. No one gets in or out. I won't let any more of our people vanish. 
Will you perform one more task for us? To facilitate your mission, the guards have been informed that you may come and go as you please. Find Giron Sadri. He's upstairs. He needs to know what you discovered. Do whatever he asks. I need to speak to the guards and prepare to seal Narsis. So, half of Narsis must vanish and plague must threaten the city before Rawdon comes to his senses? And it takes an outsider to make him understand. Perhaps my friend isn't fit to lead anymore. Of course he did. Ralden hasn't been able to make a decision on his own in years. At least he's finally doing the right thing. As for you, I have something you can do. The Moorborn are obviously involved. Any fool can see that. With the city sealed, all of the guards will be busy. However, you don't have those responsibilities. I suggest you slice a path through their camps by the lake. Look for anything that will tell us the location of the Lodos Plague. Return when you find something. Ugh! 